I am going to start with some of my solds. Uh, they are bread and butter, but I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it and what it sold for. And then I am going to go into research mode and show you items that I researched, some that sell for bigger money and what to look for. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I was recently tagged in a Facebook group about Fisher Price little people. So one of the moderators tagged me because they know I sell a lot of Fisher Price items and somebody was asking about it. Um, I thought I would do a video and show you guys items that you should be on the lookout for, items that you can hopefully source cheap and sell for a profit. Now, I will say that Fisher Price little people do range from big money to just bread and butter. Okay. Most of them are going to be bread and butter, but I'm going to tell you what to look for. And there's a few that if you find them, it's really, really good. So uh, we are going to get started here. I am going to start with some of my solds. Uh, they are bread and butter, but I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it and what it sold for. And then I'm going to go into research mode and show you items that I researched, some that sell for bigger money and what to look for. So I'm going to consider this a Bolo category video. I have probably close to 150 of these on my channel if you want to learn more about specific categories. Now, I will say these are in current time. So depending on when the video was made, you may want to go back and make sure that those items are still trending. Like if I did it a year ago, you want to make sure that those are still big money bolos. So definitely still want to look items up. All right. So let's get started with some of my solds here. So I picked this up at the Goodwill bins and it was inside of, it's a farmhouse and these are the trays. So I ended up pulling these out because it was, uh, the item was damaged and I didn't want to sell the damaged item. So I just pulled these out and sold the trays separately. The same person bought both of them. Uh, they paid $14 plus shipping for these. And again, that came from the Goodwill bins. The next item is this Fisher Price Little People. She is from Sesame Street. She is Miss Hopper. I think it's, is it Hopper or Hooper? I don't know. But anyway, she's in pretty good condition. I did get $14 plus shipping for one figure. So the buyer was all in for $19.97 on that. So these smalls definitely add up. Now, this guy right here, he is not in great shape. And, you know, I thought about, like, should I even list him? But I got him out of a thrift, uh, I'm sorry, a mystery toy box from Auctions for You. Auctions for You is a YouTube channel that wholesales items out to resellers. And she had picked up a vintage, um, not a vintage, it was a toy storage unit, I believe, with a bunch of vintage toys. And I had her make me a box of loose items. And if you want to see that video, it was so fun and amazing. And I found so many items and I learned so much. But I decided to list this item even though it was damaged. And I ended up selling this for $14 plus shipping. It is the Sesame Street Little People Grover Muppets. And again, I, I'm guessing somebody's going to like repaint him or maybe just use him as is. But just because an item is damaged, if it's vintage and collectible, somebody will still buy it. The next item I sold is this vintage Fisher Price Little People baby with yellow bib and rocking horse. This is from the 70s. I got this out of a thrift store mystery box and I took a best offer of $16 plus shipping. These are the chunky ones. So they are bigger. Let me see if, here we go. They are a little more than three inches tall a piece. And I got these out of a uh, thrift store mystery box and I sold these for $14 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage Fisher Price Little People orange jump rope swing and tunnel. And these go to the playground. And I sold these for $14. The buyer was all in for $21.04. And I thought I got that from um, the Goodwill bins. So I also sold this Fisher Price Little People bus. And this one I got at a garage sale for $1. And I sold this for $15 on Poshmark. 
And I have the vintage Fisher Price Little People green car with luggage. It's the luggage car for luggage and two seats. And I've got two figures in here. And this also came out of my mystery box from auctions for you. This is a lot of vintage Fisher Price little people. And I can't remember where I got these, but um, I think these came from a garage sale. I bought a whole bunch of the Fisher Price little people from one garage sale. And I decided to part these out and sold these for 14 free shipping on Mercari. This item right here is also sold on Mercari. This one, I believe I picked up at a garage sale. I want to say $5. Um, but I did not check my notes on this. I sold this for $53 free shipping over on Mercari. Now, let me show you this right here. Um, actually, let's come back to that. Um, so you can see I'm showing you solds from eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. All of these items were listed on all three platforms and they sold fastest on the platform that I showed you. Um, I do cross post my items. Uh, using list perfectly. There is a link down in the description that will show you a video of how to do that. List perfectly is amazing. I've been using it since 2019. I highly recommend it. Um, I like that you get more eyes on your items, but what I always say is some of the items that are saturated on eBay are not as saturated over on Poshmark and Mercari, and they're going to sell faster on those platforms. So they may not be as big of a platform but your item may sell quicker over there. All right, so let's go into, um, let me see here. And I did verify um, the items that are gonna come after this, but I went into one eBay store and I noticed that they sold a lot of the vintage Fisher Price little people. So what I'm gonna do is just scroll through some of their solds, just to show you some of the different items. These pigs sold for $41. This guy on a horse, and I like how they um, have set up their listings. So they put the guy, the cowboy on the horse, and this sold for $78. And it says that it is a rare variation cowboy plus saddle and horse. So this person specializes in Fisher Price Little People, so they know how to put the sets together. Right here is this camper, uh, ladders, the toilets sold for $93, the clown set. $51. You've got the circus. It says complete plus extra clowns, $76. So these are just some high dollar sales right here. Nifty station wagon sold for $130.27. And I'm going to talk to you about something towards the end of the video um, that's going to help you guys also. So stay tuned for that. Looks like 50 different people here. I'm guessing these were a lot of just some of the regular items, but here's the one right here that I sold for 14. Uh, so 127.50 for that. So a reseller may be buying that. This person is a reseller, but they probably just didn't want to take the time to part it out. I don't know. Uh, Castle with Dragon. So I have sold the Fisher Price. Um, I think it's the King and the Queen. I think I sold those over on. Facebook marketplace. But this set sold for 150. Now this one caught my eye. It says vintage Fisher Price little people four knockoff dogs lookalikes plastic unusual. So I don't know about this one. I I know that you're not supposed to technically Oh, I sold something. Use um uh, like you can't do Kuji like or Kuji style. I know you can get in trouble for that, but this is kind of doing the same thing, but I wonder if it's different for toys. And these do look like the Fisher Price dogs. Um, I don't know, but these sold for $228 and 50 cents. I, I'm just going to leave it at that. I, I don't know. Obviously they got away with doing it. I don't know if it depends on, um, the brand or, but, uh, I don't know. So I don't, I don't know if I would recommend doing that since they're not Fisher price and they used vintage Fisher price. Ah, I don't know. That's so confusing. I want to dig into this listing. Let's, let's go down here and look at these other solds and then come back to that. 
Vintage Fisher Price Little People Rare European Version. Oh, see, they just know their stuff. $97. Vintage Fisher Price uh, with uh, the mail carrier with all the letters. $67 on that. So just again, here's a dog. Look at this dog right here. $113.50. So to me, it's like, how do I know which ones are knockoffs? $96. Look at these two guys. Uh, rare variations. So they know sometimes it's like maybe the black hair with the blue body could be a rare variation. I have no idea, but somebody searching for these is going to know. But that's why you need to look them all up. Here's another rare variation. These sold for $59. Uh, you definitely do have to research them. Otherwise, you know, you could end up selling something for way less than um, it's worth. Here's the regular dog. So, yeah, just look at these solds. $93, $83. Look at the horse lot for $90. This gal in the pink car, $41. Look at the McDonald's set, $93. Okay, so let's go here. And I'm going to show you some of the solds. And I did verify that these actually sold with feedback. So this set sold for $38. So again, they have taken these items and made a cute little lot and 38 plus shipping. This one right here are the set of seven and sold these for $50 plus shipping. And again, these have all been verified with um, feedback. So I know that they were good sales. Here's that uh, variation. Now it says light blue body. So maybe these are supposed to be the same, but this one's harder to find. Not a hundred percent sure, but 42 bucks for those plus shipping. Here's the angry guys. Uh, and it says rare variation, plastic light blue. So again, I think this is probably the one that's more common and maybe this one is harder to find. And they show the bottom there, $59 on those. Now, here is the, the castle set that I showed you. This is that same seller. So they have put everything together here. And this sold for $160. And that was a good sale. Here's that lot sold for $96, 50 different pieces. And here is that dog. I just wanted to let you guys know that I did verify that that was a good sale. It um, There was feedback left for that. And here it is right here. Really nice, great seller. Thanks for a great transaction. So if you want to check feedback, you just put it in the search bar and it will pull it up. All right. This, of course, is a no-brainer in my opinion. If you can find vintage new old stock toys, pick them up. More than likely, they are going to be a bolo. Now, if it is uh, a pricey item, you're going to want to look it up and see what things are selling for. But if you can get this for five, 10 bucks, definitely pick it up. This sold for $120 plus shipping. And feedback was left for that. The next item are these rare vintage Little People Sesame Street and Muppets. And there are a whole bunch here. Um, I have sold some of these individually. Um, here's that guy that I sold, Grover, right there. See, that's what his paint is supposed to look like. This sold for $132.50 plus shipping. And that also was a good sale. This is the vintage Fisher Price Nifty Station Wagon. It sold for $161.50. Now, I am going to tell you that if you have a complete set, it is going to sell for more. This has all three figures in it, not in super fantastic condition. And it still sold for $161.50. And that also was a good sale. The next item right here I want to show you is the Nifty Station Wagon. So this one, best offer was taken. Here are just the um, animal, the animal and the three figures that go with this set. Sold for $119.95. Here is just the car and you can see it's missing the roof and still sold for $49.95. $161.50 is the one I showed you earlier. $60 on this one. And this is just the dad, and he is in pretty bad condition, still sold for five bucks. Auction, you know, I don't know if I would do auctions on these. If I did, I would definitely start it at what I want to get out of it. 
Here is the vintage Fisher Price Little People School Bus. This is the 984. And again, what is making this sell for more is that it has all of the figures. Okay. This sold for $185 plus shipping. And that also was a good transaction. All right. So if it's just the bus, it's not going to go for as much. So don't get super excited if you see a bus because this one sold for more because of the figures. So a lot of times being complete is what makes these go for more. Now let's come over here to what I'm talking about by being complete. This is a, um, and I'm not going to verify all of these. I'm just going to go through. Basically, I put in Fisher Price Little People Vintage Searching Highest Solds. And you can definitely learn from this, but you also have to be careful because sometimes these items do not get paid for. That's why when I do my category videos, I like to try to verify things for you guys so that you know that it's a good, legit sale. These, um, what you're going to see over and over is they're in the original box and they are complete. And that is what is making these go for, this one's factory sealed. Um, this one is new in the box. I mean, anytime you can get new old stock items. This here um, is just a whole bunch. And um, the castle, again, it's, I believe that one is complete. Yep, complete right here. So if you see, if you have the whole set, it's definitely going to go for more. I love the little dragon here. Holiday Inn. So these are different play sets that are older that are going for big money. So be on the lookout for them. But again, be careful because if you just have the house or you just have the house and a couple figures, it may not go for as much. See all of these different little things. Those are going to bring up the value. I have sold this little carriage. I've sold that um, individually. And, you know, it's a bread and butter that way. And here are the kings and the queens and the different figures. I've sold some of those individually. They do pretty well. So you can part them out. But if you have a complete set, you're probably going to do better selling it that way. But definitely pick up these mini figures um, if they are not a complete set and sell them individually. You can get 10, 15, 20 bucks. And, you know, you saw that one that sold for over 100 uh, because it was a rare uh, variation of that dog. So I'm just going to kind of scroll through here so you can see some of the different play sets. Um, I don't know what these are. Juice glasses. Never heard of that. Oh, yeah. I wanted to look at I wanted to go back to this and I forgot and I just saw it. I want to look at the bottom, see if they have pictures and kind of dig into this listing a little bit. Because this person really um, knows what they're doing. It says, I bought these separately over the years from eBay. I'm not sure of the brand. They have different feel to them than Fisher Price. The only other one I ever saw had an orange body, but I didn't win that auction. They are plastic. Two seem to be discolored a little in the face. These are knockoffs possibly from Mexico. So I don't know. Again, this seller really seems to know their Fisher Price um, items, but somebody wanted them. $228.50 on that. All right, you guys, I hope this video was helpful. I know that I learned a lot from creating it. And thank you so much for being here. Check out another video. There's going to be popping up here and here, a subscribe and a video down below. If you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe. If you've been here a while, thank you all so much. And let me know in the comments how you found the channel. Thanks for watching.